what do you mean by density density is uh, basically here mass per unit volume so mass per unit volume is known as density we can use symbol d or sometimes we use like this symbol that is pronounced as rho so both symbols can be used for density so mass per unit volume is known as density unit of density is si unit of density is kg per meter cube so mass per unit volume maybe the gram per centimeter cube you can write but generally in si unit we take here kg per meter cube by nc what do you mean by by nc so see here if you take water in this beaker there is a water in this beaker and now if you place something is here suppose a wooden cork you are placing here like this it will float if you place iron nail so when the wooden cork is placed it floats but when you place your iron nail it sinks why so see here floating or sinking of any object on the surface or in any liquid decided by the densities see here if this is a water we have taken in this case density of water is less than the density of wooden cork that's why the wooden cork floats but density of iron nail is greater than the density of the liquid that's why iron nail sinks so some objects floats on the surface some object sinks why does it happen we will study in this part that is called here buoyancy so in this buoyancy part suppose you have taken let us understand in proper way all these thing is here this is a liquid if you place any object over here like this object experiences gravitational force that is called weight of the object so weight of the object acts downward as i have told initially this weight is equal to m into g which is the force applied by earth on the object so because of this weight this object is pulled downward but what happened next part here as this object is pulled here downward and it is on the surface of liquid this block or this object will displace the liquid as the liquid is displaced so this displaced liquid or due to displacement of the liquid basically a force acts upward that is called here upward thrust upward thrust so there are two forces one is weight and one is upward thrust due to displacement of the liquid so now in case weight is greater suppose you have taken if w is greater than up thrust so the body will start going down 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 and ultimately the body will sink if up thrust is greater than weight then what happen so the body will remain up now if the up thrust is suppose and weight the body is floating and if you want to sink the body you have to apply external force which can overcome on the difference between upward thrust and weight as then the body can sink so many things are designed like submarines ships all that are designed in such a way so that the proper up thrust keeps on acting and they can float on the surface of the water so basically up thrust and this w this up thrust is known as buoyant force so this up thrust we can also call here 
buoyant force. As we have discussed about the densities, if the density is here much larger, the density is larger than the density of the water, the body will sink. If it is less, it will float. Buoyant force is equal to actually this upthrust or buoyant force we can write is equal to weight of liquid displaced. So, if you calculate the weight of the liquid displaced, you can calculate by an force. So, now we will discuss about that is Archimedes principle.